What is up, boys and girls? We are live. It is Thursday. We got Thursday night football. We got college football. We got hockey. We got playoff baseball. It's a great day. The Dodgers got swept. Uh, that That is always a good day for a Giants fan. Yeah, we'd always take a Giants win. But the closest thing to a Giants win is a Dodgers loss. And yeah. yes, that is pure hatred. And it's yeah. all actually love. I used to go to opening day at Dodger Stadium. And although we talk trash, like it's friendly. I know there's been fights and stuff. Uh, I'm not taking anything away from those people, but I never had any problems. Yeah, I've been to a lot of a lot of games at Dodger Stadium because I lived there for so long. So, uh, yeah, I always had a good experience. Um, never had any issues. So, uh, well, we uh, we got baseball, got hockey, got some football, got college ball, and we're gonna keep it simple today. Uh, I got a first TD prop that I think is going to surprise a few people. Uh, and I'm going to show, I'm going to talk about why. So our moonshot of the day, first TD, Jarek McKinnon. I've actually hit uh, like four of these now this season. Um, this for me is the weather's bad. We got 15 to 25 mile an hour winds. They're going to be able to throw the ball a lot less. And if they are, you know, they're going to use Pacheco, I think a lot tonight. But he's also going to gas. I think they can get it down close. The field's going to be wet. Get McKinnon a swing pass. Um, and the guy scores touchdown. Mahomes and Reed oh. like using him. And we have this as it should be at plus 1,200. So the fact we get it at plus 1,700, uh, we like the value there. Remember, guys, first TDs are sprinkles. Do oh. not hammer these. Dude, I was, we were looking on uh, – We, you know, we did our – Mush and I do our uh, – our, um, Nine or so. We're looking. They didn't even have. They didn't even have any time TDs. They were only showing first TDs. Just, just know, guys, that that's like, that's a bad thing when they're, when the books are forcing you in one direction. It's. I'm not saying like. Uh, I mean, they're telling you without telling yeah. you. Yeah, like when they advertise you popular parlays right now or first game things just again i'm sorry i'm always boring like this it's, it's not it's not that i'm here to cheerlead for bed openly from the rooftops but i am but it's just always be aware it's like in a, a, a casino when they offer you insurance on blackjack they're offering you something with slightly negative value they, they want more money on the table so that's all um take it take it do whatever you want with it um I'm going to get a little fun now after being boring. This might be the largest plus money play I've given out. And it's hard. It's a tough one. I was saying to Trevor, I don't even personally like it, even though my systems do. Uh, it shows a severely EV positive because Seattle is a good goalie and Seattle's a good team. But uh, the Nashville Predators minus one and a half plus 130. Yikes. Um, plus, or excuse me, plus 230. I'm so used to saying one that I didn't even prepare to say. <laughs> Plus 230. That's my best bet. Openly bet. It's just a little too generous. Plus 230. All right. Um, so we're going to go the other way now with a running back in tonight's game. Uh, my favorite prop play is Javante Williams of Denver under 11 and a half passing yards. He's not a receiving back. He's, they said, hey, we could have played him last week. The field's wet. He has that hip flexor. He's coming off the ACL. They're, they have P. Ryan. They have Jaleel. They have a third down back. He's not going to get pass catching yards. I would be shocked unless it's a broken play that even has a catch tonight. Um, this line should be like seven and a half, not 11 and a half. So I love it. Javante Williams, Denver under 11 and a half pass uh, uh, receiving yards. I love it, brother. A little more boring, but um, relevant game tonight. I think it's going to be a good game. Uh, West Virginia Mountaineers minus three plus one Oh six. I'm going against the home dog in prime time. Uh, I just think even though Houston's pretty low right now as a team, I all I just think West Virginia is substantially better looking at their record so far. Um, it for me it's the plus 106 here. So make sure you're not minus 110 on this. I imagine some places this is going to drop to minus two and a half potentially by uh by kickoff. So just keep an eye on that. But I, I prefer the Mountaineers minus three at plus one oh six. I might even buy my way up watching bet openly today to see minus three and a half at like plus one fifteens, stuff like that. So um, that's my second play. And then this correlates and you'll be interested to see why. So 
our bet openly DFS play of the day, Donovan Smith, the Houston quarterback, over 25 and a half rushing yards. Why do I like that? West Virginia is going to be up in his grill. Um, he's had, he's rushed for 44, 77, uh, 24, 27, and 65 yards. He just ran against Texas Tech for that. Um, you know, he's going to have five to 10 carries tonight minimum. They're going to use him not only when he's scrambling, he, they're going to have design runs for him to try to slow down the Mountaineers because the Mountaineers are going to get after him. They have one of the better defenses in college football. So I think he's going to have to scramble more than they would probably like him to. Uh, and I think he hits this probably in the first half. Uh, I think this is going to be a pretty easy over tonight. And I, I hate saying easy overs, but I just think this is as grossly mispriced as you can misprice something. So I think it's a great play for DFS. I like it, brother. By the Jans, Trev and I got five plays for you in the next 60 seconds or so. We have been on fire, up 1.87 units. The last show, we've been crushing. I, I think we're getting close to plus 20 units this week collectively, which is pretty solid for us. We bet half unit, one unit, one and a half units. So, Trev, let me hand you that mic. Yeah, so this, for me, just so you guys know, is a quarter unit play when I do these. Uh, first TD tonight, uh, Jerick McKinnon of the Chiefs, plus 1,700. We have this as it should be uh, 1,200 if you want to break down, listen to the full show. I like it, bro. I have a Pacheco on my team, so I'm, I'm mad at you, but but you could be right. Uh, this is one of the bigger plays I'm ever going to give out in terms of odds, uh, and I'm nervous about it. Nashville Predators, minus one and a half, plus 230. Javante Williams tonight, Denver, under 11 and a half receiving yards. Odds jam EV positive bet openly play West Virginia Mountaineers minus three plus 106. Make sure you're getting that plus 106. And our bet openly DFS play of the day, uh, Donovan Smith over 25 and a half yards for the Cougars minus 115 against that Mountaineers team that's going to be in his grill. Get the, this is going to move up. I think this is going to close at like 27, 28 and a half. So grab it early today uh, before it gets steamed up. And showing you some love, dude. There's been a bunch of people on Twitter tweeting out our DFS lines and odds and tickets, showing like better lines, better odds, better payouts. So that's huge. So I appreciate you for that, Trev. Yep. All right. Let's go have a good day. Later, bro.